first one out is convention so this is about taking a look at your foundation make sure that you're on a, on a, a good foundation not pretty um not living on a life that is false um this gives you the opportunity to change things this is a card about endings um so perhaps there's something that you're thinking about of changing but maybe you have a little hesitation um this is giving you a new opportunity to start off clean um perhaps to relocate as far as homes maybe even within your mind your own mind of how you feel and see things um this also takes you out of the norm um so if you're sort of stuck in like a cookie pattern kind of uh life or situation you know where everything is sort of the same this is where you can break free of that it's convention you're you're sort of um starting something new and going outside of the box perhaps okay which is not a bad thing guys and uh i think that in this time this day and age we sort of have to shift out of what we thought was good okay um so then generosity and so this is where we come out of the 3d as far as when i say 3d it's the plane that we live in um it's tied to materialism it's tied to money ego i'm right you're wrong that kind of thing with the generosity and the convention together this is where you let go of that rigid kind of like i said cookie cutter kind of um life and you start being more humble. You start um, helping others. There's this time that's coming, um, they say in the near future, where we're really letting go of the money and egotistical things. And it's going to be about humanity and who's going to, um, you know, who's going to help you, you know. So let's see what this one is. Appreciation. So see, becoming more humble. Um you will get blessings maybe you are this kind of person that is um you found a life purpose uh to help other people um but with this it's going to bring you this sort of abundance um to start over this is change with the appreciation so maybe you're coming outside of ego and you're learning how to manifest positivity for you um you have endurance so see this is that energy that i feel that we're being pulled away from materialistic stuff and um, perhaps the upside down world that is trying to sort of take us into their grip. You know what I mean? Um, this is where you really have to have thick skin and really fight. Uh, stand up for yourself. Fight. Fight for your freedoms. Okay. Um, let's see. And then you also have flirtation so see through this darkness that that might you might be going through right now or in the near future it might start unfolding for you you have to have some kind of flirtation and the flirtation card is about keeping a happy spirit and making sure that you pull yourself out of um perhaps darkness or things that you think are crashing down but if you stay positive and happy within yourself, this is about creating inner peace for you. Then you're going to be okay. See, there's balance. There's that sense of happiness. Um, but I think it's we're trying to break out of the mold and really become a little bit more humanitarian. Um, and this is really um, where you're going to change. Things are changing rapidly. Let's see what's at the top of the deck. So you have domination. And see, this is where this comes from with the convention what have you what has been dominating you have you been living a life of free will uh choosing your your what you want to do um no one else has your free will unless you give it to them so have you been dominated by what religion by society by um government um by another person a dominant person um, maybe a manipulative kind of relationship you're in whether it's work family or love um that's something you're trying to break free from or what really spirit is trying to break us free from um and then at the bottom so publicity um this is another card of change so this ties into the endurance where um you have to stand up for something um and you might have to say it publicly meaning you got to come out of the old regime the old um di diagram 
um, like the old paradigm um, and really create new, but you might have to voice it here publicly. You know what I mean? In other words, making a stand for yourself, whatever the situation might be, it really does tie into a lot of what's going on in the world today. Okay, so take it as it resonates for you today. I am going to go a little deeper and see what these mean for you, but I definitely keep a light air about you, you know, um, try to stay happy. Um, I mean, I just feel like a lot of things are going to start evolving uh, soon and you might sort of lose grip or uh, just see things that you just quite didn't quite think would ever happen in our lifetime. So, and if you don't think that this affects you or your twin, you got another thing coming. Because what's trying to happen is in the world, the way things are happening right now, the d divine masculine energy is sort of being ripped away from us. But really, you have to have a balance of divine femme and divine masculine. You just can't have one. You know, it's two sided. So, this is where we sort of have to fight for divine masculine to sort of be balanced. You know what I mean? Um, let's see what the reading tell, tells us a little bit more. That's just what I'm seeing, guys. Um, convention, please. What is the convention? And so this is definitely where things are falling. They're shifting. And it's trying to break you free of that square that you live in, that box. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so you have the... Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the Queen of Coins, which is the Queen of Pentacles. So you see, this is, are you tied to a toxic relationship? Are you tied to something that doesn't ground you, something that doesn't serve you anymore? You really need that risk, that, that plunge to break free from that Ten of Swords. And it is a 10. So that is really saying it's changing. It's going to change rapidly, guys. But then with the the, the queen of coins it's really this energy of being grounded um is this where you're needing to go towards <coughs> so i just feel like the throat chakra is acting up as i'm speaking um maybe you're going towards the queen of coins okay um this is really a, a powerful position in that sense that there's compassion there's generosities there's this sense of being down to earth. Um, the queen of, of coins is really um, here to really help others. And that's where I get that sense of m maybe needing to reach out to help people or you uh, asking for help. Okay. Um, this is really, if you're talking about environmental things, this is where... Uh, you know, this is where you have to sort of manifest a nurturing kind of environment um, to all living things, no matter what they are, animal, human, um, you know, whatever plant, you know. Um, so it's a very deep reading, I feel, today already. Um, so is this a person that you need to sort of submit to? Um, and it's very hard because of ego, because you've been sort of taught one thing and you just find it very hard to go out of that box you know um i don't know if that's because of you feel like you're obligated to the situation or whatever that might be okay let's see queen of queen of coins what is the queen of coins please what is the queen of coins um the star card and the moon so see it's that fear. You you have this pull towards something that is generous and loving and nurturing and grounding. And that is that star card. It's a spiritual connection. But yet there's a lot of vulnerability, perhaps because you've never felt it or it's out of the norm for you. So this is where you go outside of the norm and experience the situation. But yet it's tied to fear. Um, this could be fear in that sense of you just don't know how to let go of your ego. Or it could be fear of just maybe not being good enough or having self-doubt. This also could be an awareness, like meaning um, like something telling you to be aware of a situation. So in other words, wake up and pay attention to your intuition as far as this Queen of Pentacles. Um, is it where you're trying to get yourself to? Or is this where you're going to lay down something in order to get 
with this person or in this situation something like that guys okay um maybe it's a warning i feel um to pay attention to pay attention how your gut really feels what is the fool what is the fool please what is the fool i want to know what is the fool um so you have the eight of wands see taking that risk taking that action um communication maybe traveling to um, maybe there's messages coming in for you in that sense of real messages like uh, texting, um, email, even communication in person, um, something like that. Okay, this is this sort of rapid kind of energy that I'm feeling like as far as making you move towards something. What is the Ten of Swords, please? What is the Ten of Swords? But see, whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, you've been stuck in this place of being confined with society with religion whatever that might be okay so you got the six of pentacles in the sun so ha have you been stuck in a place where with the six of coins and the sun it's like you've been very generous in that situation where you're at but you've been sort of backstabbed this is the awareness that's coming in from the moon telling you be aware of the situation you're keeping yourself blocked in a place where you're giving too much and somebody's taking sort of um your kindness and really not appreciating it so this is where um the masculine really needs to somehow heal and become balanced and take back your masculinity that's what this is saying guys um masculine has been tied in this sort of um this sort of box where they can't move out of maybe control or who oh, what people think you ought to do you're living for someone else okay and you're being quite generous but you're being taken advantage of is what i see here so um yeah let's see let's see what the rest have to tell you i think that that is the warning that is coming through with the moon as far as fear um when i did meditation before this reading i heard um it's hard for people to chalk up things as a failure and really to let go of ego um to sort of let go of ego realize you made a mistake or followed the wrong thing and that's what's holding us up as a society and as as, as far as um a human race kind of thing okay um so let's see here what is number five um generosity and so this is where we have to break free from that pattern of everything is material you know so look at that you got the six of cups you got the six of cups and the chariot so this this change that's going to happen over here it's something that we've been stuck in for so long that spirit is trying to get us out of it okay and it's going to get us to this place where we can balance that energy where i told you divine masculine and divine feminine you have to have both you have to sort of have that loving and that sort of assertiveness kind of energy it can't be offset so the chariot is bringing this to alignment it's creating freedom it's creating the free will uh that sense of energy that makes you move which i felt with the eight of wands and the fool taking that risk is this coming back to your kindred spirit to is this to healing your inner childhood kind of trauma sort of resetting things so you can start over again um this could be love this could be somebody returning for you or you to them okay this does denote a past lover okay um but it also could definitely mean that you're sort of being called to go to a simpler place a place of not having um you know this sort of feeling of being trapped in something that you don't want to be in okay what is the six of cups please six of cups the six of cups um okay the king of pentacles so now we have the king and the queen of pentacles is that the match guys is that your your soulmate your twin flame what is the chariot what is the chariot please you sort of have to humble yourself to have this that's what this card means the generosity you have to humble yourself um you have to acknowledge that you did wrong things or maybe have forgiveness 
um, to be able to get to the Six of Cups. And there will be balance. There, it will happen. Um, see? <laughs> I'm telling you, Five of Swords. Whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, you got to sort of surrender to this um, and let it happen. In other words, you give yourself a free pass. You pat yourself on the back and say, okay, I've learned my lessons and now I'm straight. What is the chariot, please? What is the chariot? What is the chariot? So you got the ace of coins and the queen of cups. You got a new beginning here. You got a beginning of love, intuition, compassion, a sense of free flowing, um, definitely that sense of you just know where you want to go you're not questioning um you believe maybe you're believing in yourself and this is what needs to happen in order for you to get straight and get into that six of cups if that makes sense okay um maybe this is you maybe this is your person you got to take it as it resonates it's a general reading um but i do feel like um there's just something that is pulling you um to somebody Who's just very loving and maybe for a long time you've been tied in a relationship or a situation with the ten of swords that just sort of kept you stuck there and betrayed okay but this is where you surrender to this love i definitely do feel the queen of cups in this reading it's not a person it's the it's the spirit of the queen of cups like you're being drawn to your twin because this person is grounding they're generous they're it's true love and there is an opening. There's a brand new beginning available for you two people that are coming together. Okay. You may have to help each other. You may have to help help friends also. They keep saying. Okay. Um, I want to know. Let's see. Appreciation. Um, appreciation. So if you are lacking appreciation or abundance or grace, this is where you go inside. You, you meditate. You connect to spirit. You connect to um um the earth and really be thankful okay um there are hardships that are going to be coming uh, but if you prepare now you'll be able to handle it when it comes here okay um let's see i don't always like to say things because i don't want to cause like mass mayhem but it, it's almost like you got to prepare you got to prepare for something um, if you look at the world and what it's happening in the world, everything that's happened, that they're doing man-made uh, weather, man-made uh, manipulation, all that kind of stuff, it's going to have effect on us in the future. So when I look at this picture, they're just telling me, prepare. And what do you see in this basket? It, it's food. So you might need to start preparing for food, okay? Um, that's just something they're telling me on a mass scale. But see, ten of wands. So... Ten of Wands. This is really um, letting go of your obligations of what you think you have to do. Um, as far as a, a strict kind of um, like way of being. Okay, this is where you have to sort of surrender to yourself and listen to your gut and let go of things um, that you just can't change. You can't change people. You, you sort of have to accept that, you know, you've gone through a lot of um, difficult things. But once you do that, it's like you don't carry that into the future. You sort of you sort of start start over again. OK, um, let's see here. The Ten of Wands, please. The Ten of Wands. So the Three of Wands, this allows you to sort of when you let go of these wands, these obligations, the regrets, the, the things that caged you in you're able to move forward to the things that you've been trying to manifest. And it's going to be a better place that you take yourself. Um, but I do feel you, you're going to have to have some resilience there. Okay. Um, perhaps there's been things that you've been manifesting or trying to manifest and they haven't quite appeared in front of you yet. You know, uh, and you lose patience. But this is really a choice that you need to make which involves a risk meaning with this card here and the ten of swords up here you've taken a risk to let go of this stuff that's why you have two tens you have the ten of ten of swords and the ten of wands there is a risk that has been taken in order for you to move forward with this three of wands and that is letting go of all these wands all these wands that sort of been sort of um like 
little little uh, dents in your soul, you know? Um, so when you do that, then you can have all the things that you've waited for come in as far as results, and it's been worth the while, okay? Um, so keep a focus on that dream, on that vision. You see, he's looking at the ship, so really keep a focus on that dream and that vision that you want to come in for you. Um, and keep appreciating, even if you go through a struggle, keep appreciating and just visualize that. What I see this message as is that coming together as a collective and just raising the energy, you know, and us as twin flames, we really do have the power to do that. It's all in your mindset. And if you think that a lot of the stuff that um, is happening in the outside and the environment doesn't affect you and your twin, you're wrong. It really is. You can't just focus on the love that you have for this person. You have to see what's happening on the outside because it does make a dent in your life. Okay. I am. Um, let's see here. See the two of coins and that's where you could be questioning things, you know? Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, endurance. Endurance, please. What is the endurance? Uh, endurance. This will change. This will help you. This will help you to um, have a stronger core. And you might be fighting it because I see these two cards went in reverse. Um, you might be fighting it, whatever they are. See? Holy crap. Um, the Hierophant and the Justice. So are you not giving yourself that sense of karmic justice? Are you fighting this? Are you... <coughs> Excuse me. See, when I start speaking negatively or um, maybe something they don't want you to hear, they start closing up my throat chakra. Um, you got the Hierophant in reverse and the Justice in reverse. So this is you maybe battling. Are you battling yourself to see the truth, the light, uh, to change what society has told you to believe differently um, in the Justice in reverse as well? Because see there is some kind of karmic justice trying to come in for you that will create balance but in reverse it's almost as if you disbelieve and you're struggling with yourself to believe this situation or um is this you wrestling with yourself you know um in that sense of keeping yourself in that stagnant energy okay um yeah and maybe you you know as hard as it, it as it, it is for me to say this um on on a mass scale with the hierophant in reverse they've sort of taught us to believe in the wrong kind of god and the wrong spirit you know um it's been more of a 3d kind of uh, thing that we've been following and we might be wrestling because that's what we've been taught you know it, it's what you're finding it hard to change because it's what's been in our face for such a long time. So I definitely do feel like this is where you have to go in deep meditation, ask questions, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's, it's like, I definitely do feel, um, this is where you're going to get your karmic justice. If you let go of this kind of uneasiness, and take a spiritual role for yourself, meaning learning um, spirituality on a whole do, on a whole different level um, than you're used to. What is the hierophant in reverse? So all your beliefs are just sort of they're crashing down, guys. And you're gonna have you have the, the the great thing about it is that they're crashing down, but you have the opportunity to recreate and to recreate in peace and humble something humble okay so see temperance and the wheel of fortune so this is where we're at we're in this fork in the road and you just don't know where to go um but what spirit and god is really trying to do is trying to really release us and allow us to ascend so that we can really go into that promised land okay um i hope that makes sense um yeah, I don't want to say a lot because, I mean, they'll start buffering my sound. They'll start... When I when I upload, I can see when they're nicking some of the things that I say. In other words, they sort of run them together. And sometimes, I don't know, it's just... It's hard to really come out here on this platform and just be honest. 
but I try to do it as well as I can. And I always do pray to ask to give you guys guidance that it will come through me, you know? So I hope this is making sense because we are at this period of all the bad things are really going to be taken off and we have the opportunity to make them what we really want in our soul, okay? It's moderation, it's peace, it's forgiveness, it's comfort, it's health, it's abundance, whatever that is. Give me one more card for, card for endurance. And then we got the nine of cups you get the wish fulfillments you get the peace you get the serenity the abundance the love whatever that is for you you're gonna get your prayers answered okay that's pretty much what they're telling you but you have to sort of be on your feet and make sure you're following the right thing not the bad thing okay so i want to know how does the story end for today please okay so the devil and see what do you attach to um yeah this is a big one but see with this one it's almost as if you have a recognition of it okay um the devil okay and then see laying it down laying down the toxic stuff the 3d stuff the materialism the lies the manipul ma manipulation maybe you've let let somebody else take control and this is where we take that leap of faith with that six of cups and you rush in oh my gosh like seriously I hope this makes sense. I I have to sit back and listen to it because